Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, Plasma1945, and what you're seeing is actual combat footage of a door gunner in an Mi-8 helicopter, I believe, using a uh, PKM machine gun to take down a Garand Shahid drone as it's flying into Ukrainian territory. Now, this is a great platform and uh, makes total sense. The drones are slow, so can we recreate this in DCS world? So. As far as I know, Ukraine does not have any UH-1 Hueys, but I don't have any Mi-8, so a UH-1 will be my platform of choice. I'll tell you this, I don't know how to fly the Huey, but I can hop into the door gunner's position and work the M60. Now, our stand-in for the Garand drones are the Chinese Runglong drones. These are similar to the Reapers. They're a bit smaller, and here they come on course. Just like in real life, they will be flying a predetermined course following a set of GPS or internal coordinates. There's fire, trying to get the same angles, just like the real guy did in his MI-8. But as you can see, these things take quite a few hits, probably a little bit less in real life, but it also could be because of yours truly's ability to aim. All right, so this guy is definitely getting away. You have to compensate for things like bullet drift and uh, also the fact that the Huey in DCS world tends to drift to the right when it's on autopilot. All right, attempt number two. The gun will jam up, so you have to do short controlled bursts, aka just like in Aliens. All right, that one gets through again. It has taken quite a bit of damage, but it's not going down. All right, working number three, third time's a charm, right? Aiming for that central area of the uh, drone. Hopefully I'll score more hits. And yep, there we go. We got smoke. That one's going down. All right, snapping over to the second one now. We know the area to shoot at. So there we go. This is working out much better. Send some lead behind that drone. In reality, I'll be very careful with my ammo. And first drone has hit the ground. Here comes another one. Now I know where to aim in the approximate drift. You kind of get used to that with the relative speed of the drones and your helicopter. Good hits. One more is knocked out. And a three ship. This drone is definitely out of control. Let's keep a camera on this guy. All right, one drone down, and just as that happens, another one gets damaged enough to go off course. Now, the Huey in DCS world has a tendency to drift to the right ones on autopilot. I would love to do this with a uh, proper pilot and a crew of a couple of gunners, so maybe I'll do that in the next video. And I will also get a minigun roll. Now, the minigun fires a lot more lead. It's a six-barrel chain gun, and uh, I think you guys would appreciate that as well. So subscribe and... Uh, hit the bell on this video to see that one coming up. As for now, these drones are getting way out of my range. There's no way of catching up and taking them out. Now, for those who have uh, watched this video and want to try this out yourselves, I'll post the mission in the video description. All you have to do is as follows. Save the mission to the missions folder, open it. Before you hit fly on the Huey, press number three and then hit fly. That will put you into the door gunner's position and the drone should be coming up on the left or the right side. Now, you don't need to be a Huey pilot to actually do this. The autopilot will keep course, but remember, the autopilot will drift over to the right eventually. So once in a while, you might need to hop into the front seat by pressing one on the keyboard, hitting the left button on the keyboard so the air, uh, helicopter starts going left and then hopping back to the gunner position so autopilot takes over. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and have fun everybody. Plasma is out of here.